A startling discovery has thrown the astronomical world into a frenzy. In the gigantic expanse of the universe, a bizarre something lies dormant, casting a spell over hundreds of full-blown galaxies. Are you ready to track down the brute nature of this disturbing entity and unlock the secrets of this cosmic phantom? Then buckle up, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and set off with us to explore the unique wonders of space. The Great Attractor Even Qui-Gon Jinn knew there's always an even bigger fish. If we now transfer this Star Wars quote to the constellations of the cosmos, it means, no matter how massive an entity may appear, somewhere in the vastness of space slumbers an even more gigantic object that effortlessly outshines the others in terms of size and gravitational pull. When it comes to the question of the most massive known structure in the universe, there is no way around the colossal Great Attractor. This supercluster is of the order of 10 quadrillion solar masses. Between 150 and 250 million light years away from our terrestrial home, the detailed investigation of this area turns out to be a very difficult task. Its center of gravity is located south of the constellation Scorpio, and thus in a region which, from our point of view, is almost completely hidden in the plane of the Milky Way. This region of the sky, which almost completely eludes our curious gaze, is called the zone of avoidance by experts. Obscured by the dust clouds of our home galaxy, the word avoidance refers to the fact that scientists in the past often avoided looking at this zone. The data were simply too sparse. Over the years, however, the view of this mysterious region has changed somewhat. Since the 1990s, it has embodied a separate field of research in astronomy. A Cosmic Enigma Basically, the Great Attractor, which has an estimated diameter of 300 million light-years, acts as the central gravitational point of the Linnea Kia supercluster. This supercluster, in turn, comprises 100,000 individual galaxies, including our Milky Way. However, experts face a daunting problem in their work. We cannot explain the true background of this brute force of attraction. The fact that we got into the grip of an external structure at all became known only around the year 1990. At that time, the researchers registered some anomalies in the Hubble flux, which means that the galaxy clusters in the corresponding region move away from each other more slowly than it should be the case with a uniform expansion of the cosmos. However, this conspicuousness could not be explained by the presumed mass of the Norma Galaxy cluster alone. This is a gigantic cluster in the southern sky with a mass of a quadrillion solar masses. Against this background, experts suspect that even more powerful sources of attraction lie dormant in the regions obscured by the Milky Way, which are responsible for the observed phenomenon. Then, a few years ago, an exciting announcement swept through the astronomical headlines. Researchers at the University of Western Australia had succeeded in detecting 883 galaxies in the region of the Great Attractor that had previously been hidden by the Milky Way. However, the fundamental mystery could not be cracked in the context of this exciting discovery. The mass of the galaxies was not enough to decipher the primordial characteristics of the Great Attractor. Cosmic Mirage? It's possible, in the case of the Great Attractor, that we also become victims of the so-called Malmquist bias. This effect leads to the fact that particularly bright objects within observation astronomy are seized preferentially. As pointed out by the Swedish astronomer Gunnar Malmquist, stars that settle below a certain apparent brightness are not considered. Objects that shine brighter, on the contrary, can be observed over long distances, creating the false trend that intrinsic brightness and other associated quantities increase with distance. However, those who consider only the brightest structures in the universe tend to draw incorrect conclusions. Thus, we mistakenly associate such structures with closer celestial regions, where in reality, they do not belong at all. Sometimes, this has the consequence that some areas of the cosmos seem to be populated by denser galaxies than it's in reality the case. So, 
Does the great attractor also embody a kind of mirage? Is it possible that this gigantic structure shows us something which does not exist in reality at all? It's possible that this has nothing to do with an ominous super attractor, but merely with an area of the universe in which there are more galaxies than elsewhere. But if the mass of that structure is not sufficient to attract local clusters of galaxies, what force is responsible for this spectacle? Shapley Supercluster Well, in this regard, a structure is currently moving into the center of astronomical interest, which is known to experts as the Shapley Supercluster. About 650 million light-years from Earth, this collection is made up of 20 clusters, each containing hundreds to thousands of galaxies. In detail, the Shapley Supercluster extends in the direction of the presumed motion vector, along with the local group, along with our Milky Way, and also moves through space. With this in mind, scientists suspect that the largest known collection of galaxies acts as a fundamental center of mass, embodying a major cause of the detected gravitational anomalies. This assumption led to the Shapley supercluster becoming the observational focus of astronomers and being eyed by ESA's Planck Space Telescope, among others. Designed to study the cosmic background radiation, Planck was able to capture some remarkable images of the supercluster center. For example, the largest pink dots show us Abel 3558 on the right and Abel 3562 on the left, completed by some smaller structures in the center. The Cosmic Opposite Given the literal attraction that the Shapley supercluster has on galaxies and astronomers, however, we should not forget one thing. In the gigantic expanses of space, structures with exactly opposite characteristics also cavort. So, the so-called dipole repeller attracted the attention of the experts, not because it attracts the neighboring galaxies, but because they all move away from it. But what's the background of these repulsive qualities in itself? Well, the majority of scientists justify these with the below average matter density and the empty regions of the dipole repeller. Other researchers like Jean-Pierre Petit, for example, insist, however, that we must extend our usual cosmological theories by a repulsive component. Further, many experts suggest that the dipole repeller is of equal importance to the Shapley supercluster in terms of observed galaxy motion patterns. While the sparsely populated region literally pushes us toward the attractor, it receives us with open arms as a result of its brute force of attraction. Open Questions and nevertheless, this cosmic interaction and the influence of the large attractor are still not sufficient in order to decode the observed phenomena conclusively. Matthew Collis, from the University of Australia, pointed out that our galaxy should actually move 50 kilometers per second slower. This leads to the assumption that there are other superstructures lurking in the depths of space that we have not yet been able to detect. A sensational discovery in 2016 shows the magnitude of these structures. At that time, experts came across the Vela Supercluster, which immediately joined the list of the largest known structures in the cosmos. While this structure has a diameter of 370 million light years and is about 1,000 times larger than our Milky Way, 20 of its galaxy clusters have been identified spectroscopically so far. Located behind a dense veil of dust and gas and about 840 million light-years from us, the Vela Supercluster is home to an estimated 100,000 galaxies. An Invisible Force Between the years 2001 and 2010, NASA's WMAP spacecraft was dedicated to the task of analyzing changes in the cosmic background radiation in the microwave range. Basically, this relic from the Big Bang era is affected by the motions of galaxy clusters, which in turn allows us to make statements about the direction and velocity of the clusters. In this respect, our common cosmology says that the motions of galaxy clusters should be randomly distributed in all directions. The problem? They are not. At any rate, this is the conclusion reached by the NASA working group headed by Alexander Kashlinsky which examined the collected WMAP data. Instead of drifting randomly in all directions, 
the investigated clusters showed a surprisingly uniform motion pattern. Or in other words, apparently the gravitationally bound clusters of stars, planets, and company had fallen into the grip of an unknown source of attraction. The bottom line is that 1,400 clusters were identified as participating in this strange galaxy flux. In view of this abundant data, Kashlinsky and his colleagues considered it impossible that the measurements represented a statistical coincidence. On the contrary, they give us an overwhelming foretaste of those breathtaking secrets that lurk beyond our cosmic field of view. Remember, that area that we can see from our earthly point of view, by no means, represents the entire universe. Before the assumption that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic, there is a spherical space around our Earth which limits our view to the stars. We can only speculate about those things that exist beyond this optical barrier. While some experts believe that the areas of the universe that are invisible to us are structured in a similar way to those known to us, others believe that the formation there go beyond the limits of our imagination. And so it is also in the case of the so-called Dark River. In this regard, Kashlinsky stated that we do not have enough information to know what set the phenomenon in motion, or even to narrow it down in any way. All that is certain, he said, is that the remote cosmic world is structured quite differently from what grazes our terrestrial field of vision. It's possible that it concerns thereby a completely different space-time structure, or however, around a parallel universe which went with ours untouched contact. Thanks for watching our video until the end. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons to learn more about the most exciting discoveries in space next time. Finally, we're interested in your opinion. What do you think about the theories that experts put forward about the mysterious galaxy movements? Do you think they are actually due to the effect of a neighboring universe?